Welcome back to another episode of The Craft of Our Tastes. I'm your host, Max. And today we're diving into another Connecticut beer. We're diving into Space Coyote from Counterweight Brewing Company um, in Hamden, Connecticut. Shout out to my buddy Adam. Thank you so much for this can. I really appreciate it. Um, so if you don't know anything about Space Coyote, Space Coyote basically is Counterweight's rotating IPA series. Um, so they basically release this beer semi-regularly, <clears throat> change up the uh, hop profile. Um, frankly, I do not know what version this can actually is. Um, I know it's a couple of weeks old. Uh, my buddy Adam sent it down to me, so I do appreciate that. Um, so what we're going to do is obviously go through the drill. We're going to pop a top on this one. We're going to give an, uh, take a look at the appearance. Then obviously we're going to get the aroma. We'll get the taste and then we'll rate it. All right. So let's go ahead, pop a top, get this beer into a glass take a look at the aroma. Uh, this beer is actually coming in at 6% ABV, so uh, very nice and drinkable. All right, so gonna look right into the camera. Beer is coming in at a beautiful kind of medium to medium plus kind of gold color, full on haze there, New England style IPA, of course. Uh, about a finger's worth of kind of nice, really beautiful fluffy white head, compact bubbles. Looks really, really gorgeous in a glass. Let's go ahead, get our nose into it and get an aroma. Wow, it's dirty. <laughs> That is dirty, man. Wow. So getting a tremendous amount of earthiness off of the nose. A um, little bit of kind of citrus notes there on the back end. Oh, man. Peach. Um, passion fruit out of the nose. But um, that peach and those passion fruit notes are completely kind of engulfed with a little bit of kind of like earthy kind of spiciness that's coming out of that aroma. Man, that smells good. I really dig kind of like earthy kind of dirty beers, man. Like, I mean, I guess there's some people out there that kind of don't, but I really like when you have that mix of that super pungent kind of uh, tropical fruits kind of layered in with a little bit of that kind of earthiness. Um, I think that really does an awesome job in terms of kind of multi-layering and kind of giving a little bit of a complexity to the beer, but that's just me. Ah, it smells really, really good. Let's go ahead and give her a taste. Adam, sir, cheers. Mm. All right, so right on the taste. Oh, wow. And Counterweight is doing some good stuff. So uh, straight up out of the gate, um, tremendous amount of peach, uh, passion fruit. On the back end of the tasting notes actually here, they say, oh, well, there you go, peach, passion fruit. Um, multiple dimensions of flavor materialize inside the soft, round, hop-driven voyage. I agree. Um, yeah, this beer has a tremendous amount of complexity to it. Um, like I said, you're getting a lot of that peach kind of um, stone fruit up front in terms of the overall taste. On the back end, um, beer kind of dries out a little bit, which uh, works really, really well. I think the malt bill is kind of spot on for this beer. It feels very, very balanced. Um, it is drying itself out, kind of middle of the palate now, as I'm kind of just obviously uh, finishing that sip there. Um, but it works really, really nicely. Um, again, huge, big peach passion fruit up front, followed with a kind of a little bit of an earthy kind of spicy dankness there on the back end. And then again, obviously, um, that drying out kind of factor as you finish off the beer, man. Like that is, yeah, it is complex. It is multidimensional and layered. I would totally, totally agree with the tasting notes that they have on the can. Let's go ahead and get one more sip. Hmm. Yeah, that's really, really good. One thing that I would say, though, obviously at that 6% ABV, um, in terms of while the mouthfeel is super soft, um, it, it, it does not kind of have that secondary layer um, of mm, body that you may get, obviously, from a bit of a higher kind of ABV with a little bit more of a malt bill. Um, but at that 6% ABV, where that plus side is, is that it's incredibly drinkable. Um, little to no lingering bitterness. Um, so where, where you may get just a little bit kind of um, lack of depth, um, it definitely makes up for it in, you know, it's one of those beers where I think you can have multiples. So let's go ahead and rate this guy. Um, man, I like Counterweights beers, man. I, I Honestly, the last review that I did of them... Um, uh, vulture culture uh, just like a week or two ago. Um, I honestly went out there and said that I think that they're the best brewery in Connecticut. 
I'm going to keep up with that, man. Like, this is awesome. Um, if you are in the Hamden area or you're, if you're traveling in the Hamden area, go check Counterweight Brewing out, man. They're doing amazing, amazing, amazing beers. Um, obviously, New England-style beers, um, but truly killing it. Um, hope to get more of their stuff. Maybe my buddy Adam will keep on sending things down my way. <laughs> that would be really appreciative. So, um, 4.25 caps from the Craft of War Taste. Man, that's an easy, 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 easy rating right there. All right? So, hope you join me for another episode of the Craft of War Tastes, where I drink, I review, I rate, and then I repeat. Cheers.